Okay, so let's talk about Primo Gems. We'll talk about how I have all of my Primo Gems down here. 13,356. How we ended up getting all these Primo Gems as a free-to-play player. We'll just show off every bit of source that I got it from. Um, yeah, this, this is basically what this will be about. Okay. First of all, source number one, hit F5, open up the event tab. There is a login, seven days, which you guys should be claiming. 100 Primo Gems on day three and 200 on day seven. As well as while you're on the event tab, remember to do your test run for Venti. You get to try them out. You get to play them for free, try them out in a dungeon or, or a domain, and you get 20 Primo, ge Primo Gems. Primo Gems. You get 20 Primo Gems upon completing it. Same thing with the other characters. You get not Primo Gems, but other resources if you want to just tackle those while you're at it. Another source would be going to the mail. MiHoYo has been very generous, giving a bunch of rewards that I have uh, haven't deleted my mail yet. But if we check back, 1600 for, I think, hitting Adventure Rank 7. So we ended up getting 1600 because of that. Um, Let's see, 60 Primo Gems here for redeeming a code. 160 every single day because they're doing a promotion going on right now where they're going to they're gonna give us 1,760 Primo Gems worth over the course of the next few days here. So every day we're getting 160 by MiHoYo. They are very generous for doing that. I want to talk about achievements as well as another source for Primo Gems. Um, just by doing small little things, you get somewhere between like 5 Primo Gems to, uh, to 20 for certain things like this one. Upgrading our Statue of the Seven fully. Got us 20 Primo Gems, but the small little things around the map that can get you some easy Primo Gems. Forging a 4-star weapon got me 10, right? There, It's not a big amount of Primo Gems, but it all adds up. Obtaining a 4-star artifact, obtaining a 5-star artifact, uh, marksman, you know, hitting an eagle mid-flight with your bow, things like that. The co-op one, you guys could probably do a lot easier. It's just going around and killing all the bosses, just every single one of them in co-op, and they give you 10 each. So that's an easy way to get a few Primo Gems. Might be able to get like a wish off of these or something. But yeah, just take a look at your achievements. And there's also a few hidden ones. And I don't exactly know all the hidden ones because the hidden ones won't show until you actually complete them. Like reaching the very top of King Gun Peak. Um, there's another one where you have to fail cooking. So you, you try to cook meals and you just don't do anything. And... Uh, you need to cook 10 of those like you need to mess up 10 meals technically so some of these hidden achievements will like all of them actually they won't appear until actual after you uh complete them so take a look see what achievements you can do get some primo gems all right so i'm not sure how many you get but going to your statue of the seven in leoa monstat just upgrading your statues of the seven will get you primo gems i'm not sure how much Again, but every time you upgrade it to level well, from level 1 to 2, 2 to 3, so on and so forth, all the way up to 10, you'll be receiving Primo Gems up upon doing so. As well as going around and just getting chests will give you Primo Gems. Like 2 Primo Gems to 10, I think, max. I'm not sure what, I, I'm not sure what the numbers are. Normally I get 2 every time I open up a common chest, but I, I forget how many I get for like a Luxurious. I think it's like 10. And as you can see, we've opened up 426 chests. And um, 897, so just try and do the math on that and average it at like two Primo Gems average or something like that. Or maybe five average, I don't know. Another one would be questing. So hitting J, I can see my quests that I've completed. Um, normally just going through doing your story quests and side quests and stuff like that will give us Primo Gems. Seems like 20 each for those beginner ones. Go a little bit later down the road here. You get 60 for that. So just doing your quests, um, story quest, archon, uh, even world quests as, as well, I think it gives primo gems, which um, if you guys haven't checked out the interactive map, we'll have all the world quests marked. And you can only, some of these world quests that are located around the map, especially the ones in Liyue, um, I believe unlock after you hit Adventure Rank 30. So if you're looking at the interactive map and you're wondering why some certain world quests are not down there, you need to be a certain adventure rank, as well as I think some quests appear in certain times of de uh, of the day. So whether it's daytime or whether it's nighttime will also dictate whether a world quest appears on your screen. Another one would be adventure ranking up. You'll gradually get some primo gems every time you hit certain adventure ranks. 
So if we start from the bottom right here, I don't think you get anything at the beginning. We get 50 right here at level 4. Um, 50 again at 12. I think it slowly increases. 75 at 20. You get a few Primo gems here. 100 for the Ascension quest that you get at 25. So it seems like the Ascension quest gives you more. Maybe at 35 we'll see a big increase as well. Yeah, another 100, another 100. So you get you get some Primo gems for uh, adventure ranking up. As well as going around the map just by exploring and getting these teleport waypoints. Every time you discover a new teleport waypoint, that's more Primo gems. Same thing with Statues of the Seven, as well as the domains. For completing these first time domains as well that you should be doing. Temple of the Falcon, Temple of the Wolf. There's four domains in, uh, in Mondstadt just by discovering... Or, or just by completing these, you'll be getting them, as well as discovering some of the other domains around the map, like the Forsaken Rift, just by discovering certain uh, points of interest. And if we take a look at this domain right here, we'll be getting 40 Primo Gems for completing it once we get Adventure Rank 35. It is a one-time clear, but still Primo Gems nonetheless. So another big source for Primo Gems would be the Spiral Abyss right here. It is located uh, to the right of Mondstadt, Musk Reef. And every time you, uh, depending on your your uh, challenge target, depending on your performance with these certain floors, if you 3-star, 6-star, or 9-star, you'll be getting different Primo Gems. So 100 every time you 3-star every single floor. So 300 total primo gems of floor you can get which we've done for one through five so 300 times five right there um all of these are one time completion so you can't actually farm these one through eight however once you go beyond eight and i think the level the enemies are going to be like level 75 80 90 or something um then you can start farming so beyond floor eight 9 through 12, you're able to farm Primo Gems. Each one, however, only gives 1,500. So it's 50 apiece instead of 100 every time you 3-star. So if you're able to 3-star Floor 9, you'll get 150 Primo Gems. Floor 10, 300 Primo Gems. And it resets twice a month. So you're able to get 1,200 Primo Gems every single month if you do that. But that's like way end game. You're going to need a, you're gonna need a lot of uh, strong units and a wide variety of units as well to counter the Fatui Skirmishers and their shields. But other than that, the last consistent source for Primo Gems would be Daily Commissions. You get 60 a day, um, and that's basically it, just for doing small little quests around the map, whether it's destroying Hilly Churl camps, or fixing a bridge, or playing hide-and-seek with uh, some random person, you know? It's 60, you're, you're basically looking at 60 a day for your daily income for primo gems once you've done like all the achievements once you've gotten all the chests or the majority of the chests you've upgraded your statues you've uh, done the trial character you're finished with your daily logins uh and you've completed spiral abyss through one one through eight the only consistent way to farm primo gems would be daily commissions 60 a day and spiral abyss which is super late end game uh, floor 9 through 12, and you'll be able to get 600 Primo Gems every two weeks. Um, so 1,200 a month, because the Spiral Abyss resets every two weeks. So right now it says it'll reset in 10 days and 11 hours. So I've only cleared Floor 7, Chamber 3. I technically have 10 days and 11 hours to try and get done with Floor 9 and 12. And as a free-to-play, I am running into some difficulties, but eventually I will be able to outscale the other guys, the enemies, Eventually, we will be we will be able to rely on the Spiral Abyss as a main source for Primo Gems. But for now, it's mainly just daily commissions and hope MiHoYo is generous and gives us more events for more uh, for more Primo Gems. Okay, so I want to wrap the video up, and I just want to I just want to throw this out because I know a lot of people are going to be asking why am I saving my Primo Gems, but I am saving for future banners. Um, like Kamisato Ayaka, she's a 5-star one-handed sword user. 
Uh, she's from the Inazuma region, uh, based on Japan, which is the next region that we'll be getting. So I'm hoping that I can roll on her and get her. So I'm just saving up for pity. It's uh, 28,800 Primo Gems worth. So yeah, I'm just saving up for 180 Wishes worth of Primo Gems. That's all I'm doing. I know a lot of you guys are going to ask why I'm saving my Primo Gems. So that's why I'm saving for a pity until I get 180 Wishes and then there's a banner that I want to roll on. But I hope this video was helpful. If any one of you guys were curious on how many Primo Gems I stocked up as a free-to-play so far playing... And we are Adventure Rank 34. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I hope to catch you guys next time.